Hey guys, it's Ashley. I'm here with a craft with me. I'm going to be trying to make some embellishments, put together um, just some ephemera bits with the Garden Party Collection and some of the items that I've been creating lately. And I'll do a quick little overview of some stuff. I'm not done crafting, but I'll continue. Just want to get this out of the way. These are some shaker tool, um, just shakers, <laughs> I may use with the um, cut aparts from the Garden Party paper. There was two pages, the ones with the, the darker florals, and there's also the ones with like the graph and note paper. So I just stitched some tool around these. And here I have just some Chaos Craft Sentiments, Flourish, um, Shine, what's this? Spring, and Grow. I have them cut out in different colors and there's some flower pieces as well from some of the Chaos Craft dies, the Whale Barrow dies. And some floral pieces. I'm thinking this might be from a Tim Holtz die. Um, the wildflowers. One of these um, rosette pieces cut out of shiny gold. I think I got this from In Love Arts. So I have that available to grab. I tried my hand making one of the um, 3D um rosettes it came out all right it was pretty easy to do but i didn't like that point so i'm probably gonna have to snip off this point when i make it again and glue it on but for now for the first one i made um i sh should be able to use it on some embellishments so i'm just gonna throw this all in here to have on hand All right, and in this bag, I have some rain boot dies. You might have seen this on my Instagram. Another KS Craft die as well. Need some holographic paper, some gold glitter paper. This one came out cute with a little buckle. Um, just this one, all different mix and match. It comes with, um, two designs i believe the star one with the stripe and the overlay with the polka dot ones and you can also just leave it blank these are a few of the ones these ones uh i just did an outline and see if i liked it i didn't like it too much but i'll be able to use it somewhere so i'll just put it there So I have these ready to go. Let's see. These are not done yet, but these are the ticket. Uh, the ticket bag covers. So I just cut them out right now, but I'll finish them later. I actually might use, see if I like it, just embellishing it without making a shaker for it and see what comes about of it. I was going to do some embroidery hoop um, embellishment shakers and I did use my rainbow bag topper. I just made the rainbow. Just see if I actually cared for the shape or not. I think I might like my rainbows a little more with a, a greater arc, I think. And we also have some, some tinier embellishments. This is the shovel and trowel set. Uh, I think it came with a wheelbarrow from Chaos Craft as well. It came out so cute. It's a little, I used the holographic paper. This one you can see the embossing more. 
and the pink ones with the gold handle um, and these little trowels are just darling look at that so cute <laughs> so so cute and let's see some teacups saw a little things thrown here some of the cake dies from the the cake and cloche set a smaller um watering can and this uh wheelbarrow i was gonna make a shaker but i was just like oh it's too tiny i don't want to fuss with it so i might just leave it like that and see what i can do with it so we have those embellishments we have the shaker uh, watering cans, the larger set. I did three of these in just the same patterns. Um, I did one, two, three, four of these in the pink paper. And just, just like that. And then I did one going the other way to see if I liked it better. And I actually do like it facing this way better, I think. Maybe because I'm right handed, <laughs> it just looks, but and I like the paper in the background. So that's cute right there. I like this one. So we have those to decorate with and embellish. Um, we also have some of the roller skates from KS Craft. Uh, once again, these are um, Excuse me, what was I saying? Oh, <laughs> I can't multitask. Once again, these are from KS Craft, and I'm going to layer them up on other things and maybe put some flowers and whatnot on there. So we have this one right here. The mess is bugging me. That's, that's what it is. Okay. Let's see. We have... This one, oh, this came out so cute. The gold, that little line was was tedious, but it was worth it. We have this one with just that. I might stitch it up, lace it up with some um, gold thread that I got from Hobby Lobby. Then we have this one, pretty cute. I like the black wheels, yeah. This one with the bird, just simple and plain and cute. We have this one. That came out cute too. I think I would prefer it with a lighter pink maybe, but I like it. And the accents of the gold on the little, the heel flip thing and then the break. This one, once again, cute. <laughs> They're all cute. I love this one too, golden pink. <laughs> and this one, yeah, it needs some laces to really set it off. We have this one right here with the dark background with the wildflowers. Cute, cute. And this one, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> the, this dye is like one of my favorites. It's, it's just perfect. Then we have some bottle, soda bottle dyes. And at this point, for making shakers and whatnot, I was like, ugh, acetate, no. So I went right back to tool and use those to make my shakers so it still came out cute you can still see it and it was just so much faster i could just lay it over glue it down and sniff around the shape and this right here one of the larger bottles the smaller one without the um the straw it's my first time actually using these ones even though i have them for a while and this one and these ones right here that I'm showing you first were made with the Hobby Lobby um, three millimeter or maybe five millimeter foam. It's a chunky foam. This one's cute too. And then these ones right here were made with the foam board from Dollar Tree and it flattened it out like too much, which they work well for making the, like a chunkier, um, sturdier embellishment for like the bottle opener for this one, which I think turned out cute. But for these, they're very thin, but it still shakes well. So I didn't mind that. 
in this one as well. And then these little four extra straws and bottle caps if I need them. So we have those over here. And then finally, I know, I know. <laughs> I haven't even got with the craft with me yet. This is the Kiss and Boof die. I just did a shaker using vellum. Four right here. And then for these ones, let's see. Yeah, these ones I just put tool in between. I no more shakers at this point. <laughs> and I just put a piece of tool in here. I think I might want to stitch on here, but uh, I don't know. I think it came out cute. So if I layer up some flowers on it, um, perhaps the some of these layer stickers, like right here. Let's see if I can tuck it in. I mean, maybe. Uh, I should never put it on. I'll find a way to layer up this stuff and make it look like a flower booth. And here's some of the banners that go with the with the die. Okay, after all that, let's <laughs> let's get creating a little bit and see what I can come up with. So I have a few things near me that I want to try. All right, I want to work with the stitched shakers first and see what I can come up with and I want to work with um, let me see just real quick okay. I don't know, no, yeah I want to work with these sh shakers on top of shakers and see how that comes out if I like that see what we have here. So I'm going to be working with some of these first. Maybe the smaller ones first. And then we have this one, this one, this one, and this one. Let's start with four and see how that works out. These might be too big. Oh, that might be cute one, actually. All right, we'll see. I have my hot glue going. I have all my tools near me and little bits and pieces that I can embellish with. So we have these four here. And let's see. I think I might want to do a bottle on one. Something like this over here. I always decorate more towards the right. I think it's it's the right-handed thing, I think. Um, let's see. Yeah, maybe a mini bottle. That'd be cute. Um, okay. Let me try to the left a little bit. All right. Um, another shaker maybe, maybe a shovel, okay, I'm trying not to fiddle too much and just be more decisive with my placements. Maybe need something over here. Maybe some of these floral pieces will work well. Yes, yeah, so with the grill, it might work okay. Tear it apart. 
heart. See, sorry if I'm going silent on you guys. Uh, usually a quiet crafter. All right, I like that. Yeah, I like that. I'm just gonna glue it down. <laughs> no fuss, no muss. So I have my glue gun at the ready. And have that there. Just pressing it down, lightly attacking it. Ugh. Okay. I don't want to put too much. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, this glue will burn you. Uh, let's see. Some glue on the side. Press it down. Alright. And then if I go into do this. These glue strings. Put a piece of foam underneath it or just risk it. <laughs> Let me see if I have some foam on hand. I do. I use my Tim Holtz um, alcohol ink bottles for <laughs> storage. Glue foam. I was looking for um, more so. There's some, there's some foam I can use. Maybe the light will be better. Yeah, because it would match the height of the foam of this better. Some excess pieces from die cut in the Hobby Lobby foam. I definitely knew that was too thick. Alright. Glue on it. Put it underneath the G region over here. Alright. Some more glue on this right here. And glue on this. And we have our first embellishment done. Okay, so it's just pretty simple, quick. It look cute on just as an embellishment to give away, and also maybe on a bag, maybe on a larger bag. But oh, it does look cute. But yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna make some more of these. I like that. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna keep that as it is. I like it. So I'll glue down right here with the blue. Maybe yeah, right here. With the trowel or the shovel actually. Have to fold it up a little bit. It's super stiff. I think I have three layers of cardstock on here. Here, hmm. what do you guys think? Is it too much gold, maybe? Um, maybe this one just the handle, and it can match the colors of the bloom outline. Let's see, this is all this. Fussing about. I'm gonna stick with this one. <laughs> yeah, 
let's see what I could do here. I don't know where it was landing. Perfect. All right, and then I can glue this down. one thing. When you put hot glue with the acetate, it does fog it up a little bit, but it'll go away. Press down a little bit, and there we go. Another embellishment. Not my favorite, but <laughs> it's okay. Let me see how it looks on a bag as well. If I can... A little bit too off-centered. Not my favorite. Maybe I should have centered it. Let me see. Maybe if I continue layering. This is, a, this is a piece that I got from, I cut out from my Cricut. One of the free SVGs that's available on there. Maybe. What do you guys think? Am I going overboard now? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to stick with it and go with it. So how much do I need right there? About here to here. I will use this again. So I can go right here and that can go right here. Yep. Do some glue here. Stick it in a little bit here. And just all over here on the back. Ooh, this is steaming. I'm going to have to turn it down a little bit. in the back <laughs> but okay you know the glue up a little bit all right so this is the one that I came with it's a little busy but I don't know it'll be okay on top of something <laughs> top of a package maybe and just glue I'm filming on top of a, a post board Okay, uh, let's see, I'll do one more because of course my battery is starting to die and this is getting a little bit too long for my liking. Um, let's see, what else did I have? Will the skate work on it? Will the skate work? Uh, Too much yeah, definitely too much definitely too much I think okay but the two different golds might be cute no not blue maybe I don't know why I want that star so badly it's gonna come down here might be popped up here. I have to see my for myself. I think I might do that. With the hay. Glue it on here. Right here. Alright. Okay. See if I want it without the star. Yeah, I think I might like it without the star. Oh, sorry, star. And let's see, some foam. For 
for some height. Are the wheels, yeah. The wheels. And we have these. Just about right. Let's see. It's going to pop on. It's still not quite high enough. This, yeah, it's a little bit too high. Let me see. Will another phone be too high? Yeah, I might have to fix it with some dimensional tape. this backing which is hard when you don't have nails and since this is Dollar Tree foam a little extra stability with the hot glue Okay. We have oh this is cute. It came out cute, guys. <laughs> I didn't even use any of my garden party stickers, which I might use for this one. The sticker book. Um use a a sentiment. Um let's see. Maybe the unpredictable. Unpredictable might be work okay here. And I think I'll stick it here on this piece here. Yeah, it looks cute. I might tack it on to something, um, a piece of paper to back it. But for right now, these three came out okay. I think I will stick that down, but with some double-sided tape. I don't want to burn this glassine bag. This, uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoy this craft with me. I will try to do more and be more organized, I guess. This is just free will in it. And first 10 minutes was me explaining the things I had, which I think I should just jump right into crafting and explain as I went along. But you live and you learn. Center, center. It's down. All right, guys. So these are the three. Even though I said four, we're stopping at three. <laughs> these are the three embellishments I made using my crafts I've been doing lately. This first one with the bottle laid up top of this bag turned out cute. It's a shaker. Maybe put some goodies in here. I might do some more of those. Those are fun. This one came out really cute. I have to make some more of these, I think, now. Because I like how it is layered behind the um, the roller skate. So this one, unpredictable. I might go back in and put some um, diamond dots or gems or whatever. This one, my least favorite. <laughs> it's a little bit too busy. But it's still cute. I think I might use it for some packaging or, or something. But the shaker is cute as well and yeah this is um this is it guys my craft with me is uh over <laughs> so 
thanks guys um i hope you enjoy like comment subscribe and all that and um have a good day bye